Thank you for having me. My name is Andrea, and uh, the type of books that I like reading, um, I do switch back and forth between um, self-improvement type books and some fantasy and just life stories, things like that, depending on you know what kind of mood or what kind of um, time I have. If I don't have much time, then I might do something that's fantasy, something light. If you know I'm in the space where I actually have a bit of time, then I like to do some self-improvement things because it's always interesting to learn. How many books do I read in a year? That varies. Um, if you encounter audio audiobooks as well, which I do as actual books, then quite a few because I'm able to walk and read as I go. So it makes it a lot easier and do other things as I go. So, so far this year, I think I've read about six books. Um, what inspires me to keep reading? Um, a lot of the adventures. I enjoy adventure and I enjoy learning. And whether it's um, like a fantasy where it's an actual adventure that takes you in the book and that you feel like you're a part of it, or the adventure of learning about myself and learning about other people's stories, it's the story and the adventure that draws me in that I want to learn more and hear more and experience what they've experienced. And if I experience it for myself, it's that much more interesting. Uh, what circumstances do I find myself reading the most? Um, probably when I just want to experience something that is outside of myself. That uh, it might be when life is too much and I just want to escape or I just want more to life. Then, you know, it's like, you know, I just read something. And it makes that picture in your mind, and I'm quite visual, so I don't necessarily need to, to watch a show to see it in my mind as I'm reading. And some, I actually forget their books. I thought it was a movie because it is so visual as I read it that it is quite enjoyable. One sentence to sum up to encourage to read uh, would be live the adventure.